Fellow explorers, today is a historic day. It is the reopening of Disney's California Adventure for a touch of Disney. And in this video, I'm going to take you on a full walking tour of everything in the entire park so that if you're planning to come here, you will know what to expect. You will know what it looks like. And if you're not coming here, well, you'll just know perhaps a little bit about what you're missing. By the way, I am Chris. This is Yellow Productions. I do travel guides that are fun, informative, and entertaining. I've also got another video all about the food. So if you're not really interested in the park walkthrough, but you're interested in seeing the tasty morsels that are here to eat, you'll find a link in the description to that uh, or at the end of this video, assuming that it's out and done. That one's going to be uploaded second. But let me turn the camera around and face you forward. We are walking down Buena Vista Street here. This is the main street of Disney's California Adventure. That's the Carthay Circle restaurant in front of us. That's the equivalent of the castle right here. Now, this used to be free to go into for the last couple months as part of Downtown Disney. But now part of this ticketed event, it is currently $75 to come into California Adventure. Uh, today, March 18th, Thursday, is the first day that they were open. This food festival runs for just about a month. And then at the end of April, what everybody is super excited for, at the end of April, April 30th, California Adventure and Disneyland are reopening with rides. So that is super exciting. Which means though that there are no rides open here today. There are no shows. There is no character meet and greet, but there is lots of shopping and there is lots of food. You could say this is the equivalent of California Adventure's typical food and wine festival that they uh, had. And so as we walk through the park, I'm going to show you the different food booths. We'll take a look at what's there to eat. Again, if you want to see a deeper dive of me tasting them, you'll see that in the other video. But this is just to give you an overview of what's here. Now, they've added a lot of tables around the park. These are some of my favorite tables right in front of the waterfall here. Um, but the food stalls, there are six of them. This is the delish food stall. It is in the entrance plaza of Avengers Campus. You can see the Avengers Campus buildings there in the back that they're building. And each one of these food stands says on it what they sell. This one, uh, their particular items here is the Waltz Chili and the Very Berry Waffle. Also a farm stand punch with grape glow cube charm. And uh, you can also get some Dasani water. Each one of these booths has two lines. They have a mobile order line, and then they have a if you buy it here line. Uh, I definitely recommend the mobile order because you can just do it on your app and you don't have to stand in line. But actually, sometimes we found the cashier line to be shorter because then you wait in a different line to pick up your food. This is the cashier line for the Delish booth. So don't just walk right up to the booth to try and order. If you're coming, uh, you will definitely want to <clears throat> order at the people that will actually take your money. Speaking of taking the money, the admission to this event, $75. It comes with $25 of food and beverage credit on essentially a, a, a gift card. They call it a Disney dining card. That doesn't go very far around here because, well, food here is not cheap. Uh, here on the left, you can see a little bit more in Avengers Campus. Looking there at Stark Industries. We've got some signs for Black Widow, Red Guardian. They've put up extra sinks throughout the park so you can wash your hands without going into the bathroom. Sinks, paper towels. This is the second marketplace booth. This one's called California Craft Brews. And at California Craft Brews, their special item are the pepperoni pizza egg rolls. I have no idea what a pepperoni pizza egg roll is or how it tastes. They're friendly people at Disney waving at us right here. One thing I love about the park and reopening is people are so happy to be here. So are we. So thank you all for making this a great experience. <clears throat> and at least one of those people was really happy. The other people were just looking at me going like, this guy is crazy. 
All right, so uh, we're gonna walk down this way towards Pixar Pier in a little bit. You'll see they've put some more shopping stands on it, but first I wanna go down Cars Land. You'll see all these Disney photographers out here because the $75 ticket also includes unlimited free photo pass downloads, which is nice. So you can get the Disney photographers to take pictures of you and uh, you don't have to pay to download those pictures. Now, speaking of rides not being open, uh, this is the quietest I've ever been in California Adventure. It is so quiet when these rides don't move and when there's no lines. The park has a little bit of peace to it, and it's definitely more vibrant than when it was just Buena Vista Street. Frankly, when it was just Buena Vista Street as part of downtown Disney, it was kind of sad to come in. And so now there's definitely more life and liveliness though it is for sure a calmer, more sedate Disney experience. If you've ever been here when this park's normally open, Cars Land is way busier. And so that's actually why I'm doing this video as a full walkthrough through the whole park, because I feel like this is a pretty historic thing to see the park this empty, hear it, feel it without uh, any rides, shows, or parades. If you're wondering, it's currently... 4 p.m. I actually feel like I got here pretty much at noon when the park opened. Right, I like got to the parking lot at noon when the park opened and got in the gate at one. And it was much busier then. I think the crowds have started to thin out. This is one of my favorite themed restaurants, the Cozy Cone Motel that has all these different cone shops. Um, and we can go ahead and take a look in here through the cozy cone motel at what they've got in these different cones. Usually there are some characters taking pictures right here in front of this, but another place they've just added more tables. Uh, and we've got churros right here. Uh, this churros are churro with a dipping sauce. I'm not sure, it doesn't say what dipping sauce they have at this one. Uh, this one has soft serve ice cream. This one has the chili cone queso, which you get chili in a cone. And uh, this one is closed. And then this one is also uh, churros and Bacon mac and cheese, bacon mac and cheese. That sounds pretty tasty. All right, coming down this way, we come up to the, the corner of Cars Land where it would rejoin into Avengers Campus and where it would go to uh, the former Hollywood Tower Hotel. Uh, and we've got some uh, Disney security making sure we don't go that way. This is also the uh, Horn of Plenty, the famous Radiator Springs Horn of Plenty. And then you can see again, one of those rides in the back that uh, not much is not much is happening there right now. So kind of cool, makes, makes a good still life if you ever want to take a picture of any of these spots. Uh, and over there on the left is Radiator Springs Racers here in front of the Casa de la Tires. They've brought out these cars that you can take some fun pictures with. And Flo's V8 Cafe uh, has seating in front of it, but the restaurant itself is not open. Not all the restaurants are open and not all of the shops are open. You'll see this uh, gift shop right here in Carsland has the, this location is unavailable at this time, which you actually see on a lot of <coughs> the stores going through here. Now, there's uh, costume characters throughout the park, uh, but in Cars Land, because they, they don't have people in it and they're robots, they'll actually let you get a lot closer to take pictures of these uh, than Mickey or Minnie, since those have people in it right there. These are, these are fun. I like this guy. This is probably bad lighting from this side, right? Here, we'll, we'll walk by him this way. Toe Mater, he's talking to us. Okay, we got some people taking pictures here. 
This is a good picture spot of the Radiator Springs racers. This is one of my favorite parts of the park because I just love the, you know, what looks like the Arizona desert or Grand Canyonist type things. You know, the story behind this particular ride, and I'm going to look backwards at it as we walk, is that why this canyon so tall is there's some power lines that run just outside of the park and so they wanted to build this tall enough so that it blocked the power lines i think that's a little bit of ingenious uh disney engineering and here's another one of those photographers that takes that classic classic picture uh, if you watch my other video on the food the edited one uh, then you'll see what some of those pictures look like because i took a few of those pictures and drop them in there. You can pick which spot you like the best yourself. Now we're coming up on the Pacific Wharf food court. Uh, and not all of the food stalls are open here in Pacific Wharf food court, but all of the tables are open. The Carl Strauss Brewery is open if you want to get some beer to drink. Uh, actually, it would appear that none... None of these food stalls are open. This one's open. Cochina Cucamonga is open, uh, which is clearly under construction. Looks like they're doing something, getting ready for reopening. But let's take a look at what they've got over here. Uh, they've got some Asian style street tacos, some vegetarian tacos, and some meat on sticks. They've brought a lot of food from Disneyland over here. So those three items at the bottom come from Bengal Barbecue <coughs> over by uh, Indiana Jones in Disneyland. Now the staff I mentioned, they're all super happy to be here. Super happy to have their jobs back. A thousand people were called back as part of this reopening. And I'm sure a lot of people, a lot more will be back once the rides reopen too. You can get some margaritas here at Rita's Blenders. And uh, Ghirardelli. Uh, Chocolate Factory Soda Fountain, they are open. Boudin here on the left, which typically has some free bread and a bread bakery. They are not open. They've also got some spots that don't have photo people, but that are cool spots to take photos. That's a pretty cool photo spot right there. Presented by D23, the official fan club. We have people enjoying their Sundays from Ghirardelli. Um, now, though, apparently, if you get a shake or Sunday from here, Ghirardelli, because it's a little bit of a different business than just Disney, they today at least weren't accepting the dining cards. Uh, but almost every place else we went to was accepting the dining cards. Some of the stalls wanted to scan the dining card, like you give it to them. Others, you swiped the dining card. So that was sort of uh, inconsistent. If you're looking for seating to kind of get away from the people uh, up there in the Golden Vine Winery, there's some nice seating that I think maybe not very many people know is there. Uh, and let's go ahead and come over here and take a look at the park map for a second, just so you can you can see where we are, see where we're going. It's always good to orient ourselves. So we came in through Buena Vista Street right here. We walked up this way over into Cars Land. We're now went through Pacific Wharf. We're going to go ahead and walk through Pixar Pier, and yeah, we'll go this way around, then we'll come through Grizzly Peak, and then finally we're going to end in Hollywood Land. That's our route today. This is usually the main parade route of California Adventure. Again, lots of tables set up here. The winery on the right is open if you want to get some wine. Uh, and over here in Pacific Wharf, uh, right up there, we saw Goofy and some characters earlier. They're clearly on break. Goofy was tired or <clears throat> had to use the bathroom or something. Uh, this food stand, LA style, they specialize in things that they say are classically Los Angeles. What is that? It's pork belly banh mi sandwiches, 
Impossible Cheeseburger Mac and Cheese, so some vegetarian mac and cheese, and Honey Bourbon Lemonade. Very good. So that's one of the big differences between California Adventure and Disneyland uh, is alcohol is served over here. That alcohol is generally not served at Disneyland, except now in uh, the uh, Galaxy's Edge. Here we've got another marketplace cashier uh, for the booth we just passed for people who are looking to pay cash or credit card for their food and not order through the mobile app. If you're ordering through the mobile app, you can still use the dining card. You just have to link the dining card in your Disneyland app to do that. The gourmet coffee stand is open. Looks like they've got coffee and two croissants there in the window. Pin trading is not open, so no pin trading for you today. This is, I feel like, one of my favorite spots also in the park, just around the World of Color Lake, the wheel in the background. So this is, of course, another Disney photo pass spot. All right, so we're walking up into Pixar Pier now. There are two restaurants in the park that they recommend reservations for. One of them here is the Lamplight Lounge. They're most famous, I think, for their lobster nachos. And uh, if you don't have a reservation, though, you actually can uh, scan this QR code and you can just do a do a mobile walk up list return here. You can see that right there where you can just try to walk up. I talked to some other folks earlier in the day uh, that said they were able to walk up at noon uh, at Carthay Circle and they were seated in five minutes. They've added a few extra tables out here, but the actual lamplight lounge tables are inside. Uh, this gift shop, Nick Snacks is closed, but the adorable Snowman Frosted Treats is open. And what have they brought special over here? They have brought the Dole Pineapple Whip special over here that's typically served at the Tiki 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 Room. It is $5.99 if you want to get the Dole Pineapple Whip. Now, talking about the park being really quiet, this is a part of the park that's usually really noisy. It's really noisy because of the California Screaming roller coaster. That was now the Incredibles roller coaster. But this was like a super noisy roller coaster that like every 15 seconds would go, three, two, one, launch. But now it's peaceful, serene, and uh, a much more sedate California adventure. Walking around here, I definitely feel less rushed than I am on previous times when I come here because I'm always rushed to get in a line or rushed to get on a ride, got some place to be. But today I've, I've got no place to be because I've already had my lunch and I'm not hungry for dinner. And uh, so I've just got to kind of walk around. One of the super famous things here that people love is the Jack Jack Cookie Num Nums, these deep dish hot cookies that's closed. Most of the food stalls back here in the thick of uh, Pixar Pier are closed. This is usually a pretty busy area of um, this park, uh, but rather unbusy today. One of our favorite rides is Toy Story Midway Mania. Hope to get uh, again once the park reopens. If you are hankering for one of California Adventure's famous turkey legs, no problem. You can get it right here at the Poultry Palace for $11.99. There are a number of churro carts in the park, uh, and I've Churros continue to be one of their most popular things. Here we've got the Senor Buzz churros, which uh, these, there's a Caliente churro and a Cinnamon Sugar Galaxy churro, but they are also closed. So no churros from that cart for you. Here's our friend James right there. Check him out in the 
food video. Uh, he's the guy who made this video possible because uh, he hooked me up with the tickets today. So James, again, thank you very much for that. I also love the theming on Angry Dog right here, but uh, Angry Dog is not open. Now there's a bunch of these boardwalk games in California Adventure, uh, but the boardwalk games are, most of them are not open. There are some of them that are open. This one's open that lets you get the little stars that you can pick up and win a prize. This one's open, the squirt guns, uh, but they've put plexiglass and only three people can play instead of five. Here we've got people throwing the baseballs into Heimlich's candy corn. Only two people here. Actually, these were all closed when I went by earlier, and now they're open. So I guess they, they must have figured out how to open these. Here's another stallion stampede. Uh, these are open, too. And there's a guy with a laptop doing something cool. Maybe the things to sell tickets were broken earlier. I'm not sure. That has to be my assumption. <clears throat> and they figured that out. We just passed a popcorn stand that is open. So if you're here for popcorn, no problem. Here is another Disney photo pass stand to infinity and beyond. The way that works, they take your picture and then you show them your mobile app to link it to that so you can download it. Uh, Bing Bong's Sweet Stuff is open. This is like the busiest gift shop I've seen inside the park so far where they're holding lines of people on the outside waiting to go in. I don't think I want anything inside Bing Bong's all that much to want to wait in that line. Now, speaking of characters, uh, here's the first human character inside a costume. We'll see that the emotional inside out whirlwind. And actually, oh, the kiddos can get fairly close to her. Some of the other characters in the park, uh, they keep people pretty far away from them. Walking through here, we're walking through the middle of the roller coaster, coming up on the silly symphony swings and the part of the park that they often do the Lunar New Year celebrations. Now, something that was funny, and they, they clearly got rid of these signs from earlier. Earlier, I walked to the park, and there they had signs. Actually, they still have it here uh, related to the silly symphony swings. Hi there! That says, uh, this attraction will be closing early due to tonight's performance of World of Color. And I, I, don't, I don't think there's World of Color, because I think the ride is just open. By the way, if you heard me saying hi, the friendly staff at Disney over there, they were waving at me and saying hi. So sometimes when I'm shooting video, I just kind of get tunnel focused. And I'm like, oh, hi, because I'm busy talking to you. Hey, I'm going to let you hear this radio hey, announcement. Really? Well, don't forget to post all those keen pics all over the social media. And when you do... They have these kind of radio announcements that come through. That one said, make sure you post your pictures on the social media with pound sign, a touch of Disney. They've got special table covers for this event. Let's say a touch of Disney. And they've got signs all throughout that remind you to place your order on mobile ordering. This Bayside Brews also has beer. You can get the Michelob Ultra for $8.50 as the cheapest or Carl Strauss and Ballast Point for $11. We'll hop over here for a second. This is one of my favorite seating areas because it's got tons of tables. The tables here are, and it's shady, the tables here are like fixed in position. So some of them, they've just got signs on to tell you that the table's not available. Uh, but if you're looking for seating and you can't find it anywhere else, check it out here. Now, I mentioned there's usually a big Lunar New Year celebration. They still have some Lunar New Year stuff, though it's smaller. We've got a little booth over here. 
let's take a look at what's going on in this one. Oh, this looks like a little character meet and greet right here. You can take a picture with this guy. He's waving. Look at that. That's pretty fun. I think this is something out of almost looks like something out of out of Coco. I am Yellow Productions. All oh, right, on. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to see you both. All right. It is always great to see our fellow explorers here. Hopefully you could hear them, but this is a pretty good noise canceling mic. They asked if I was Yellow Productions and it's probably the yellow shirt that gives it away. It was a pleasure to meet the two of you if you watch this video later. Here you can get your picture taken in front of Angel Wings. And I guess those are those are the attractions here. Actually, that does not seem to be particularly Lunar New Year inspired, but just some things there to make it seem less empty. This is another sedate portion of the park because usually these swings are going up and down and around the jumping jellyfish. On the left, closed, one of my favorite parts of the park is the Corn Dog Castle and some guys at the Sunglass Place waving at people as they go by. I think they're trained to wave at people as they go by to be friendly, but I actually think a lot of the people really do enjoy being back enjoy coming to work again because disney would appear to be a pretty happy place to work okay this is another one of the food stands this is the sixth food stand in numbers this is the cluck a doodle moo and here we have the chicken gumbo the grilled beef tenderloin slider, and a watermelon aqua fresca. The chicken gumbo is really quite good. Uh, it comes over from the uh, New Orleans uh, part by parts of the Caribbean. Had that earlier. You can check that out in the food video if you haven't seen it yet. They brought over one of the um, parade floats for Monsters University. And related to seating, another one of my favorite seating spots is this area right here in front of the Ferris wheel. Uh, you can get some great pictures of your food in front of that Ferris wheel right there. And coming up here on the left is yet another food stand since there's six of them and we've not seen all six this one is called uncork california and at uncork california they've got a california artisan cheese plate and they've got road trip mimosas in addition to a whole bunch of other wines that you can pick up there uh, here's another photo spot they put here. Nobody's taking photos right now. Maybe everybody's in a food coma. And over on this side, we've got this yellow truck right here. That's a good color. They must have uh, known I like yellow and that I was coming. All right, we're gonna go ahead and turn left to go over into the kind of this is like the mountains of california part of california adventure with the big trees this is where the raft ride is again friendly people the little mermaid on the left appears under construction it's got a bunch of fencing up in front of it we are coming up on the last of the food stands and this is one is called Golden Dreams. Golden Dreams has something that I want to come back and eat later. And so you'll see this in the food video as well. This one has carbonara mac and cheese with Nooski's bacon and sweet and spicy chicken wing. So we'll check out that carbonara mac and cheese later in the food video. That's you'll find out. Oh, here's some people with some awesome yellow shoes. Yellow shoes. Their shoes are more neon than mine. But you can see I am also wearing yellow shoes. That's right. Complements the whole thing, you know. It's not just about a yellow shirt or a yellow watch, but it's got to be the yellow shoes to make 
the full package. Okay, so here's the water rafting ride. This one is the most unusual to not be running because this one they've actually drained the water out of. So this one's completely dry and drained, which also makes it completely quiet. Behind me is the Redwood Creek Challenge Trail, which is usually a playground for kids. You would think that might be open because it's not a ride and places like that at Legoland or other parks are open, but it is closed here. The kitty playground is not open in Grizzly Peak. This is the coolest and shadiest part of the park. So if it's hot in the day that you come here and you're looking for some shady places to sit, this is a good part to do that. This is one of my favorite gift shops just for the theming of it. It looks like a neat mountain cottage, uh, Russian River Outfitters, but it is also closed. There are way more things closed than I was expecting. I was expecting a lot more of the shops to be open. I don't really know why so many of them are closed, but I'm, I'm not in charge of staffing, probably because they didn't think they could sell enough stuff at all these shops. Back over here, we have a special photo experience just for people that have Disney visas. So, all right, I guess I'm, I'm not cool enough to have a Disney visa to get in on that experience. This spot right here on the left, this is the called the special entrance to California Adventure. This is where you can get in through the Grand Californian Hotel. That entrance uh, currently not open. I wouldn't expect that to be open for a while. Here you can just see a little bit more in the raft ride being drained. Again, super different. Weird is weird the right word? I don't know. We'll call it weird. We've got lots of people making videos. Here's a couple people making videos. She has not one camera, but two. Phone in her hand and a camera on the table. By the way, if anybody knows who they were, because there's so many YouTubers here today, I don't know all of them. If you see me passing some, please shout me out and let me know. Here is someone also with a uh, gimbal, DJI Mobile 4 right there. So, and I think they're probably recording this girl getting her photos taken. You know, it's kind of like when you see other YouTubers like this shooting something. It's almost like an inception or worlds collide or something like that. And, you know, sometimes when I do meet people, I want to talk more. But then I'm like, oh, I'm 32 minutes into a walking tour. I just I can't I can't stop right now. I can't stop right now. Uh, here we're right in front of the Soren ride. They've had a bunch of tables in front of there. Uh, and we've got a couple people selling balloons. They look like fun balloons right there. Now, one, I feel definitely good thing about this reopening, at least for some of the places like Smoke Jumper's Grill. Uh, before, when I was here, when it was Buena Vista Street that reopened, this had some longish lines. I don't know. I guess there's still a fairly good line here today. I was going to say, I feel like because there's more food, it makes some of the lines shorter. Uh, but that one's not. Here, they've just set up some umbrellas for people to eat their churro and other things at. Maybe they don't have a table. This is one of the other churro carts. But by the way, we passed one churro cart in Grizzly Peak that had horchata churros. I eat in the food video. You will also see me eat at Willie's Churros, the fluffer nutter churro in that video. That's the churro that has cinnamon sugar, peanut butter, and marshmallow sauce together. All right, we are back in the main circle. There are these neat uh, trees with their pink flowers right up here. They look like cherry blossoms, but these would be pink trumpet trees. Uh, and Carthay Circle right here. This is the flagship restaurant at California Adventure that everybody tries so hard to eat at. I think the food's good, but it's, it's pricey. It's on the pricey side. 
And now we're walking down Hollywood land. There's the tracks where the trolley usually runs. No trolley running today. This is probably my favorite singular street at California Adventure. Just, I love that backdrop on the Hyperion Theater. And it's a much nicer version of Hollywood Boulevard than Hollywood Boulevard actually is. Uh, a lot of these things here are things that are shows or things that are activities. So they're not going to be reopened until April 30th. This gift shop is also still closed. But over here at Award Wieners, which is just a great name for a restaurant, I think. Uh, they've got the corn dogs over here. So they're not selling them at the corn dog castle, but they've got the corn dogs here instead. And they've also got uh, carrot cake funnel fries. I have not had these yet, but I bet they're pretty good because I had the last kind of sweet fries they had here when, howdy, when uh, when Avista Street was open. That was pretty good. What do we got here? We've got another photo location. And what's the photo location? I don't know. I can't see it this way. Let's go ahead and walk around the other side. We can see related to classic photos. This is a classic place to get your Disney photo in front of the Hyperion Theater. And by that churro cart that's closed, that's the end. You can't go any more past that today. So you can't get to the Hyperion Theater uh, or the former Hollywood uh, Tower Hotel ride. Probably because of all the Adventures Campus construction they're doing. Now, this is the, uh, it's a, like it's a WandaVision photo shoot. Here we go. And you can set your phone on the ledge of this thing. And then you take your own selfie right there in the, the WandaVision living room. Interesting. Here we have the studio store where we've got a lot of the Avengers and Guardians of the Galaxy merchandise. I keep referring to this former Hollywood Tower Hotel ride. That's the Guardians of the Galaxy ride. And we've got something that says enter here. Yeah, I'll come in. I go this way. All right, thank you. This is the uh, Backlot, pre Backlot Premier Shop, which used to be open to the outside of downtown Disney. Now the Backlot Premier Shop is only open as part of the ticketed experience. Uh, so you have to pay to come in here before you would come in those doors right over there. I like the shop because it's big. It's not very crowded. Uh, and so if you're looking to get some Mickey ears or things like that in a not crowded setting, this is a, a good shot to check out that I, I don't think many people actually know are here. And there's definitely no line to check out because there are lots of cashiers. This shop they often use for um, special events like when Frozen launched, they had like Frozen things here. Oh, that says maximum occupancy, 626. So definitely nowhere near 626 people in there. Well, now that we are here, that essentially brings us to, uh, what, Monsters, Inc. And uh, this stage that was often used for high school bands and things like that, that clearly isn't right now. Well, I hope you enjoyed this walking tour. If you want to see all of the tasty food things that I ate in the food video, more about the food, more know about coming here, parking, all that stuff, check out this video. Also link in the description below. If it's not up yet, then it'll be up tomorrow because it'll take me one day to edit it. Well, as usual, I won't say goodbye because I'll see you right there.